So today I'm gonna to show you how to organize a bunch of files on your Mac using the built-in Mac Automator. <laughs> Let's find out how it's done. All right, so if you watched my last video, you'll know I used Automator and I did something kind of cool with that. I show people how to create a folder on their desktop and then if you drag any files into that folder, it'll automatically copy that file to an external hard drive. And I did that using Mac Automator. Today I want to show you something a little bit different. It's another good technique for Mac Automator. I'm going to create another folder and uh, I'm going to show you how to create, you can basically organize your entire Mac this way. So in that folder I'm going to show you how you can drag any file into the folder and what it's going to do is it's going to automatically copy it if it's a movie to a movie folder, if it's a graphic to a graphics folder, if it's a sound to a sound folder. So basically what it does is you can take a f any file you want on your Mac, drag it into that folder and it's going to then kind of file it for you automatically you know, on your Mac. So I'll go ahead and show you how this is done. Again, you have to kind of take this, uh, you know, this is just a quick example. So I, I don't want you to think this is going to solve all your problems, but it's going to show you how to actually complete the process. And then from there, you can take it from there and you can create your own workflows. So stay with me. I'm going to do this on a, uh, you know, screen share in a second. Again, I'm going to show you a folder I create, and then I'm going to drag, you know, files into there and they'll automatically be copied depending on the file type. All right. So it's free software built into your Mac. Let's find out how it's done and then we'll come back at the end of the video and wrap it up. All right, so stay tuned to the end. I promise you this is gonna be pretty cool at the end of this. So here's a bunch of files that I wanna organize. The very first step you wanna do is you wanna create a folder. Here it is. I'm creating a folder, you can call it whatever you want. I call it Example Automator. Inside this folder, create three subfolders. One's called Images, one's called Movies, and one's called PDFs. Nothing's in these folders, they're empty, they're all empty here. But just create those subfolders and create that folder, call it you know whatever you want there. So that's the first step, create that folder. The second step is to open up Automator. Go to Launchpad down here, look for the little guy that says Automator there with the bazooka, double click on him. Now when you double click on him, nothing will come up. You'll see Automator up here is open. But I always go back down here and I just double click on this little guy in the menu bar down here again. I don't know why you have to do that. But anyways, this comes up and this is where you wanna be. So the very first step here is, you know, what we wanna do is you wanna click on Folder Action and then you wanna click Choose, all right? So the very first thing is, is you wanna choose what folder that we actually want this all to happen in and it's gonna be this Example Automator folder. So up here you wanna click on this, click Other, and then that's on our Desktop, so I'm gonna click on Desktop and then I'm gonna click on Example Automator folder, click Choose. So now we have that right there, all right? So the very first step is we're gonna go over here to fil Files and Folders, see it right there. It's gonna open up this category. And we wanna do Filter Finder Items. So we wanna go to Filter Finder Items, drag this over to the workflow, drag it over here. So then in here we wanna do All, and then for this we wanna do Kind, right there, Is, and then for the Kind we wanna do Image. So All, and then Kind is Image, that's the first step. Then the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go back over here and then this workflow is moving down. So we wanna go down to move finder items. See it there, drag that over here. And once we're in here, we wanna go ahead and we wanna move this images to go to, you know, click on your desktop, but we wanna go to other. And so inside this example folder that we actually created, remember I made had those do those subfolders. This time select images, cause that's where we want these to go and click choose. So we have it to the images, All right? So that's the first step. Now the next step is we want this to process to happen for three different types of image, you know, three different types of uh, image or files that we have. We have JPEGs, which are images. We have movies, which are MP4s, and we have PDFs. So I'm going to create this workflow, and you can do this with any of these files. I'm just showing you an example. So in order for this to keep moving, though, we have to do find. Um, finder items. So it's going to search for some more of them. So if you drag multiple uh, finder items in here, it's got to keep searching. So go back over here and click on find finder items. Move it to there, all right? So you want to say search, and you don't want to say my computer because this is going to go crazy, but you want to go back to other, and you want to search this example automator folder, all right? So click that. So what's going to happen is it's going to go through this process, and then it's going to go back and try to find some more files after the first file that it finds. So it's going to go back in here, and uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to repeat this process. So we're going to click on find finder items, so we're gonna to go to find, I'm sorry, <laughs> filter finder items, I'm sorry, filter finder items. So we're gonna to go to filter finder items, drag it over here. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna say all files, we're gonna say kind, and that is, and then we're gonna say this time movie, see that? So this was images, this is movies. 
The next thing we're going to do is move finder items. So we want to go back to move finder items here, drag that into the workflow. Let's just expand this here. And then so we want to move them, but where, where do we want to move them? We want to go back in, into here. We want to go to uh, other and we want to go into now our movies subdirectory inside of that folder and choose. So you can see now that any movies will be moved into there. Now we want this to keep working, so we got to go back and add one more find finder items. So we're going to go to find fi finder items right there, select that into here, and uh, it's going to say search computer. We don't want it to search the computer, we want it to search that folder, so we're going to go back in and we're going to select example automator. And then we're going to repeat this for PDFs. So we're going to say filter finder items, filter finder items, and we're going to go in here, drag it in there, all kind is PDF, see that? And then the final step is the last one. So where should they go? We want to move them, move finder items at the very end here. I'm going to scroll down and we're going to say, where should those go? Those are going to go into other. And then we're going to find PDFs there. Choose that. And there it is. So that's the workflow right here. And go ahead and take a look at this. All right, so go ahead and you can pause this screen just to see how this workflow works, but really it's really simple. It's basically filter finder items first and you filter the images and then you move them into the images folder. And then this find finder items, it has to search this folder for another file if you drag multiple files in. So then it does another search and it says, filter finder items and it, it keeps moving forward all the way through this this process so what you know definitely you can you know take a screenshot of this and you know copy it the way you want to but you can use any different files here so I just that's kind of the process that's involved I just want to show you how you can do this now what you want to do is you want to go up to file you want to go ahead and save and you can just you can just say test you know test dash Automator, just whatever you want to call it, just call it something. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just minimize this. Now we just set that up for this folder, correct? So I'm going to show you how this actually works. This is the cool part. So look over here. So here's, I opened up that folder. I opened up the folder on my desktop and here's all the subfolders. Again, these are all empty, right? So now if I take a, any file like this file here and I drag it, now watch what happens over here. Watch how it disappears and I'll show you what happens. I'm going to take this, this is a JPEG. I'm going to throw it over here. I'm gonna watch it, and then two seconds later, it's gone. So where did it go? Well, if you double click on this, it went into that folder. See that? That's pretty beautiful. All right, so why did we make this whole structure? Let me go back to Automator. Why do we make this whole structure? You know, that I, I, you know, I moved the image in and moved into this folder. The reason for this step here is because it had, if you do multiple files, you have to add this step because it has to keep searching for all the different files. Otherwise, it'll just stop. So now let's just say you have on your desktop these three different files here and you select them all because this is kind of how I would use it. And let's say I have a bunch of files over here and I just want to drag these into here and have them sorted automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now watch this one. This one's pretty cool too. So I'm going to go ahead and drag these in here and we're going to wait a couple minutes and there they all go. All three of them have disappeared, right? So if I go into the images folder here, look at that JPEG and there's my first one I had from before. If I go into the movies, there's the MP4. And if I go into PDFs, voila, there's the PDF. So it all got sorted for me automatically. So I hope that uh, shows you guys how to do this. It's really cool. It's a really cool thing to do. And I hope that works good. You can repeat that process for anything that you want to do it with. I just wanted to show you the basics. Always back up your data before you do anything with Automator. Otherwise, you could run into problems. I always tell people that. So anyways, I hope this definitely helps. All right, again, I hope this helps. This is kind of part two of the Automator videos. I may have one or two other ones just to kind of show you more common tasks with Automator, but this is kind of a cool one because you can definitely drag those files into any type of file or folder and then it automatically sorts them for you. Um, you know, there's definitely some good uses for this. If you can kind of think outside the box, you can think of other reasons why you might want to use this, um, you know, depending on, you know, maybe not for all your files and folders, but maybe for certain projects that you work on and stuff that are large projects. Anyways, go ahead and use it any way you want. Definitely post comments, you know, in, in below. What you want to do though is you want to make sure when you're using Automator and when you set up these kind of file folder structures, you have to do it for each individual folder. You can't just do it for one and expect everything to trickle down. So just kind of do some setups, you know, do some examples, learn how to use use it. Make sure you have all your stuff backed up. I always tell people that before you start fooling around with stuff, especially Automator. But definitely just try some things out and see how it works and then go back and try it again. And eventually you're going to learn how to use the tool and it's pretty useful if you actually figure it all out. So anyways, if you guys can help support my channel, you guys know I make a couple of videos a week. 
I will talk to you soon. Um, you know, hopefully uh, we can all get, hopefully the, the 2021 is a little better uh, than 2020 with the pandemic and everything. But let's all pray for that. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.